Namaste everyone. Today I will teach about uh, pregnancy yoga. So this this yoga you can do in starting three month. And after this video, I will post two more videos, which will uh, which will about like in six month and in nine month. So I divided in three parts. First part is for starting three months second part between three to six months and the end of the part from six to nine months so this is the part one and in starting three months you can do this yoga in your home and keep healthy during your pregnancy so from here first we will do siddhasana and uh, for that you must open your leg first and shake your leg like relaxing your muscles so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten up and down one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so for siddhasana bend your one leg right leg and then slowly bend your left leg siddhasana is also called, called accomplished pose so for that here and then chin mudra rest on your knee and from here try to take a deep breath you have you sit in simple cross leg here and then deep breath inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale do this breathing uh, around 15 to 20 times and from here the second posture is Vajrasana you all know about this posture so first open your both leg yes and then shake your leg once again one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now from here coming for Vajrasana first bend your right leg and place under your right hip and then bend your left leg place under your left hip so this is Vajrasana position, your hip will be over your heel, like this. Your hip will be over your heel. And then place your both palm over your knee. Don't hunch your back, don't sit like this. Try to spine straight, lengthen your spine and then elbow straight and stay here. Stay here at least 10 counts. If you have knee injury, then you don't do. If you have an ankle injury, then you don't do. And then stay here again for around 7 to 10 counts. Like this, spine straight. When you do this posture, try make sure that your alignment is correct. And this posture is also good after you just to take food, you can do this posture. This is the only posture you can do just after eating. So this is the pose. It's called Vajrasana or you can tell in English diamond pose yeah so stay here at least uh, 7 to 10 counts now from here come to Sasangasana so for Sasangasana that is also simple in this position inhale raise your hands up and then exhale Sasangasana this asana is also called rabbit pose so from here exhale bend palm forward try to spine straight yes spine straight chest on your thigh and then try to connect your forehead on your mat stretch your hand forward as much you can and again stay here for seven counts seven deep breathing six five always try to make sure that your breathing is correct Four. Inhale, exhale deep. Continue. Three, two, and one. Now again, slowly inhale. Come to the center. Yes. Now from here, exhale. Release. Yes, very good. Now from here, again, this time open your both legs. Yes. And then from here, we will come in fourth posture so for coming in fourth posture it's called ardhmasand asana or uh, it is also called half fish pose so for that from here bend your right leg first here 
right leg yes you can place your feet side of your knee side of your other knee left knee like this and then spine straight don't hunch your back always try to spine straight and then inhale raise your left hand up and then from here slowly twist your body and then from here place your other palm behind your back and then slowly try to catch your toe from outside of your leg and then stay here look back yes one stay here for seven counts try to spine straight two three four five breathing continue six and seven now from here slowly once again raise hands up and then exhale now this time change to the other side open your right leg bend to left leg again other side always try to do yoga in alignment and with breathing it will give you more benefit than without breathing i mean without correct breathing now from here inhale raise your other hand up right hand once again twist your body and palm outside of your feet other hand back place your palm and from here from your hand push your body up again seven counts seven six five four three two and slowly once again inhale center and then exhale release your hand open your leg yes once again shake your leg to relaxing your leg one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten yes. now from here come to the butterfly yes for coming to the butterfly first bend your right leg inside like this and then other leg left leg it's called in hindi baddha konasana and in english butterfly so from here try to connect your heel on your hip joint it will help you to open your hip joints and it's very good for your pregnancy so from here come to the butterfly interlock your fingers catch your feet spine straight and up and down one two three four five spine straight six seven don't do like this relax eight nine and ten slowly come to the center from here inhale raise your hands up if you are capable then slowly exhale bend forward try to spine straight if you can then you can connect your forehead too five you can stay here as much you can or you are comfortable four three breathing normal two and one now once again inhale center exhale release your hand open your leg relax your leg one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now from here apart to leg as much you can upvistha kon asana this asana name is upvistha kon asana or you can say wide angle seated pose so apart to leg as much as your capability you can stay here if your capability capability is this much or do as much depends on you be comfortable don't force yourself and then from here slowly spine straight inhale and then exhale forward stay here yes if you cannot go total down then stay in half is okay if you can then slowly try to bend forward do as much as your capability if you can you can connect your chest and chin on your mat yes and stay here 7 to 10 counts 7 6 very good 5 4 3 2 Now once again, slowly inhale, center, and then exhale, release. 
once again bend your right leg slowly and then bend your left leg slowly come to butterfly for relaxing your thigh muscles after this position so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now from here the the seventh posture is from here once again sit in cross leg yes and then inhale raise the hand and then exhale to the right side drop your elbows side of your body spine straight don't do like this try to spine straight and hand side of your ear straight your side muscles again inhale center and then exhale to the other side inhale center exhale do seven times right and left and then stay to the right for seven counts seven six five four three two and one nine how center you can count slowly i am showing you so that's why i'm counting fast otherwise you will feel bored so other side yes once again stay here one two look up three four five six and seven nine how center and then exhale release your hand so this is the seventh posture now i will teach you eight posture so the eighth posture for that you have to lie down because this posture is lie down posture and this posture name is viprit karni or you can say leg leg up the wall pose so for that lie down on your back yes and then from here first raise your both leg up in 90 degree now from here place your from here first slowly lift your hip up and then palm behind your back now from here try to your toe and your nose in one line or toe and your forehead in one line when you do this posture don't move your neck so here this is called vipreet karni so your do and your forehead in one line when you do this posture try to not move your neck otherwise you will get injured so stay here knee straight one do as much as your capacity don't force yourself when you do two three breathing normal four five six and seven now slowly whenever you are coming back from the posture try to come back slowly so the all posture finish and in the end you must take savasana around 5 minutes so apart your leg and apart your hand head in center and close your eyes and try to focus on your breathing during this 5 minutes try to feel the relaxation in your whole body with inhalation feel that you are inhaling positive energies around your class and with exhalation try to feel that you are exhaling your whole negative energies from inside your body feel the changes after the class and before the class you will feel more better after the class feel the breath with inhalation feel the coolness in your nostrils and with exhalation feel the warmness in your nostrils feel the relaxation 
in your whole body and then feel the calmness in your mind. So after staying 5 minute relaxation, during the relaxation try to do not move your body. So after 5 minutes with closing eyes, try to join your both feet together. This is the process to come in, in sitting position because you are taking light because you are in light on position for a long time like five minutes so this process is good for your heart if you suddenly sit down then it is not good for your heart so from here bend your both knees one by one and then hug your knees with your both hands and from here try to raise your right hand up over the head and then Turn your body to the right side and support of your left palm, sit in simple cross leg. Don't open your eyes here. Now from here, chant three times Om and three Shanti. So palm in front of your chest, then take a breath, inhale and start. Oh inhale Oh inhale Oh Shanti 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 Now rub the palms together and make it warm and then slowly place over your eyes Feel the heat on your eyes Now palm in front of your chest First open your palm and then slowly and nicely open your eyes and post it to the palm That's it. Thank you Thank you for watching this video. So after this video, what type of next time, what type of yoga you want or what type of disease you have and you want yoga for, for that, you just comment under this section. If you want to follow my photos and videos, so you can follow in my Facebook page. The Facebook page name is Empowered Yogini Yoga by Master Ramsu. So you can follow there. Or if you want to follow the website, then you can follow in yolik.com. Thank you. Namaste. See you in next video.